So in these inequalities, well, uh, examples 8 and 9, we've got to go through our steps. Distributive property, add like terms if there are any on, on both sides, and then solve. Okay. So we'll start with example 8. Please write it down. 3 times 2m minus 1 plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 2 times 3 minus m. So write it down. So this just like solving an equation that looks like this, we do the distributive property everywhere first. So go ahead and apply the distributive property and what do you get on both sides? So 3, you multiply in by 3 here and here, right? And then you multiply by negative 2 here and here. So 3 times 2m is 6m, 3 times negative 1, negative 3, right? And then plus 5 is less than or equal to, and what do you do on this side? Negative 2 times 3, negative 6, negative 2 times negative m, plus 2m, okay? So we've applied the distributive property. Now we go along, go and see if there are any like terms that we can add. Can you see any like terms that you can put together? If you look at the left hand side, what can you add together on the left hand side? So on the left, we've got a negative 3 and a plus 5. What do you get when you put those two together? So you get a plus 2, right? So now we've added all the like terms we can, just write out the equations again, or the inequality rather. Okay, so we've applied the distributive property, we've added like terms, now we need to solve the inequality. So again there's four possibilities, subtract 6m from both sides, subtract 2 from both sides, add 6 to both sides or subtract 2m, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of that 2m by subtracting, right? So we can subtract 2m from both sides. 6m minus 2m is 4m. Now write everything out again. Plus 2, less than or equal to negative 6. And we subtracted from both sides, so the inequality stays the same direction. Now what? We just subtract 2, right? What do you get on both sides? 4m here, and what's negative 6 minus 2? Negative 6 minus 2, negative 8. We subtract it from both sides, so inequality stays the same direction. Now what? It's 4 times m, so divide by 4 on both sides. Now what do you get? m on the left, and on the right it's negative 8 over positive 4, that's a negative 2. Now what do you do with the inequality sign? You divide it by a positive. So the inequality sign stays the same direction. It's only when you divide by a negative that you change. So you can add to both sides, subtract from both sides, same direction. Divide by a positive on both sides, inequality stays the same direction. It's only when you divide by a negative, that's when you change direction. Okay. So we get m is less than or equal to negative 2. And on the number line, what does that look like? Press pause and do the number line real quick here. So on the number line, here's negative 1, here's negative 2. Less than or equal to that, well less than that would be negative 3, or negative 4, or any of these numbers. Or even in fact negative 2.01, that would be less than it. So, But also negative 2 is also included. So that's why we do the square bracket and color in the number line in this direction. 
and that's the line graph of the inequality. Okay. So let's do example nine. Write it down. Negative five x minus eight minus x is greater than or equal to four times one minus x. Please write it down. Press pause. Do the whole thing yourself, and then check the video. See if you got it right. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. So, we've got to apply the distributive property everywhere we can, first of all, right? There's a negative on the outside of this parenthesis. That's like having a negative 1 there. So, we multiply everything by a negative 1, okay? Negative 1 times 5x, negative 5x. Negative 1 times negative 8, plus 8. Does that make sense? And then write everything else out. And the 4 needs to be multiplied in here and here. I hope you pressed pause and tried it. Did you get this? 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times negative x, negative 4x. So that should be your first line if you, if, if, you, if you can continue from here. So press pause and keep going and do the whole thing from here and see what you get. Okay, I'm going to go over it now. So we need to... We've done the distributive property everywhere. Now we need to add like terms. Can you see any like terms that you need to add together? So on the left of the equation, there are two things that are like terms. Do you see them? So on the left of the equation, you've got a negative 5x and a negative x or a negative 1x. Okay? We've got to put those guys together. Negative 5x and a negative 1x. If you put these guys together, that's a 5 negatives and 1 negative makes 6 negatives, negative 6x. And now write out the rest of the equation. Okay. Now we need to solve it. We've done the distributive property on the first step, then we added like terms, now we need to solve the equation. So again, there's different options, and there's as long as you do the same thing to both sides, you're correct. I mean, like I say, you could add 6x to both sides, that's fine. You could subtract 8 from both sides, that would work. You could subtract 4 from both sides, that would work. What I like to do is I like to get all the x's on the left for some reason, so I'm going to get rid of that negative 4x, first of all. How would you get rid of a negative 4x? Add 4x to both sides, right? Now what do you get? Negative 6x plus 4x, negative 2x. And write out the rest of the equation. Okay, and so what do you do now? You can subtract 8, right? What do you get on both sides? Negative 2x here and a negative 4 here. And we subtract it from both sides, so what do you do with the inequality side? If you add or subtract, just same direction. It's only when you divide by a negative. So what, what's the next step? Continue from here. So x is being multiplied by a negative 2. To get x by itself, you need to divide by a negative 2 on both sides. What do you get on both sides now? So it's a positive x here, and on the right it's a negative 4 over negative 2. That's a negative over negative gives positive 2. You divide both sides by a negative. We divided both sides by a negative. We need to change direction of the inequality sign. Okay? So now it says x is less than or equal to 2. Now please draw that on a number line. Press pause and, and give the number line uh, the line graph for this inequality. One, two, so what would the line graph look like? Less than or equal to two. All numbers less than or equal to two. Hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So it's the number one, zero, negative one, negative two, all these guys. Everything up to two and including two. Okay, so all these numbers, all these decimals, all the way towards negative infinity. From two down to negative infinity, right?